Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. So guys, in today's video, I am going to review this SNP Peptotonic Serum, which has been all over the internet since quite few days. So if you are interested, then keep on watching the video, and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, as it means a hell lot to me. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, let's just talk about the product. This is the SNP Peptotonic Serum. This is basically a hydrating serum, okay? And it contains six types of peptides and five types of hyaluronic acid. You know, peptides are the, uh, is an ingredient which if you use in a moisturizer or a serum, it is something which will, you know, vitalize your skin or it will just give you that, uh, you know, firmer, younger looking skin. And hyaluronic acid on the other side is an ingredient which will help in retaining moisture in your skin, thus making your skin really soft and plump. Okay, so this is the serum and uh, uh, these are its ingredients. I'll link the list of the ingredients in the description box in uh, in case you want to check it out. It has so many good ingredients like, uh, you know, honey extracts, asiatica, hydrogenated castor oil, and of course, um, five types of hyaluronic acid and various peptides in it. It does have a fragrance, which is at the bottom of the list. So keep that in mind. If your skin is allergic to fragrance, then you can skip on this product because if your skin gets irritated by fragrance easily, then this product is not meant for you. Okay. So yeah, this is the product and it costed uh, for 750 rupees for 220 ml of the product, but I got it for like 600 rupees on discount. So you will always get a discount on this product. So yeah, this is the product. Now opening the product. This is the actual bottle in which it comes. It is a plastic bottle and I really love how it looks. Okay, so it comes in a, you know, gel form like this. It's really gel in texture. And always remember, whenever you are using a hyaluronic acid serum, you always have to use it on a damp skin. In order to get that plump and glowy effect, you, you have to use it on a uh, damp skin. And don't forget to top it up with a moisturizer to get that, you know, really plumped effect. So always do that. So you can see if you rub it quite well, it will get totally absorbed into your skin. And coming to the fragrance, it ha it does have that mild fragrance to it. The fragrance is not overpowering, but it does have that mild fragrance and it will go away in like 5 to 10 minutes. So you have to bear with that. So see, once it's totally absorbed, you can see the difference. This side looks more plumper than this one so yeah this is how it feels on the skin it gets totally absorbed in your skin like any other serum so so yeah now let's just talk about my experience with the product and i really have some thoughts on it Okay, so before sharing my experience with the product, let me tell you that you can uh, like uh, this product is uh, this product can be used by every skin type people, oily, normal combination and even dry skin type people. And I guess for oily, normal and combination skin type people, this this is going to work best. But for very dry or dry skin type people, you have to, you know, top it up with a really hydrating moisturizer to get that plumping and glowing effect. Other than that, it is just a basic, uh, a basic hydrating serum. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that is what I wanted to tell you. Now coming to my experience, I did not have a really great experience with this product and I was actually little disappointed with this product because I bought this product after seeing a ton of reviews. Okay, and the sensitive skin type people, you know, they were saying that the, uh, it didn't irritate this, it, it haven't irritated their skin and it was all good, their skin was hydrated and blah 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 blah. But uh, when it came to me when i started using it on the third or the fourth day itself my skin got irritated and uh, i had bumps on my face and my face was feeling really itchy i don't know why but it was like itchy and it was irritated okay so i just freaked out and i stopped using this product and uh, that time i was using it for uh, you know, at that time I was using it twice a day and I was topping it up with my Cetaphil moisturizer. That was the way I was using it. But then I stopped using it and after 10 days when my skin was all calmed down and, you know, was okay, I started to use it again. But this time I use it just once in a day and that too in the morning. And at night I was using my 5% niacinamide serum. That way also I was breaking out here and there. I was not breaking out very much, but I was still breaking out. Then I stopped using it completely and after like uh, 
few days again i thought of giving it a try and this time i was using it with my niacinamide serum that i was firstly using my 5% niacinamide serum on top of it i was using this serum and on top of that i was using uh, applying my moisturizer that way it didn't break me out so i was really disappointed you know i wanted to buy the serum in you know i don't want to use 10 serums at once i just want to use one and that is why i bought this if this would have worked for me it would have been very affordable and it would last for months and you know i don't want to use 10 serums in my skincare regime if i am already using my niacinamide serum then what's the point of using this serum so i really i was disappointed so i came out with the conclusion that if you uh, if i'm using this all alone on its own and topping up with my moisturizer it's not working for me it's breaking me out badly it's itching on my skin but if i'm using it with my niacinamide serum and then i'm using this product and then i'm applying my moisturizer then that way it is kind of working for me so that is a kind of disappointed for me disappointment for me and uh, if you have experienced the same thing if this product has broken you out then please 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 comment down below in the comment section because i really want to know whether it really worked for you or not because i have sensitive skin okay and uh, this product was really making my skin you know uh, irritated and itchy and uh, yeah i didn't like it at all but now i'm using this on my body and for my body i'm actually loving it you know you kind of smell good all day so that is the thing that i love so yeah i am using this on my body and for my body i i like this product but for my face i am not going to use it again because i have tried to use it three times with different products with different you know I, I have tried my best to make it work but it didn't happen and it irritated my skin so that's the problem that's my experience with the product also share your experience with me so yeah if you and if you have sensitive skin if your skin is allergic to fragrance and if you can't bear the fragrance in products or your skin is just not meant for that so just you can just skip on this product and if your skin is okay it's not that sensitive you can give it a shot if you want to and uh, yeah it just didn't work for me but it might work for you so choose wisely so yeah that's it for today's video and if you like my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel till then tata bye bye